Earlier on this week, Mlago Hospital carried out brain tumor surgeries on a number of patients. The surgeries were carried out in conjunction with doctors from India. One of the operated patients, Frazia Dragua, had a tumor that was as big as a fist. The doctors who carried out the surgery said he was now suffering the adverse side effects of his non-cancerous tumor. After his surgery, he is now recovering well but still has a bit of confusion, which the doctors say will stabilize with time. So, to understand brain tumors better, we visited the head of the neurology department at Mulago Hospital. Senior neurology consultant Michael Mahumza says with no known causes, tumors can grow anywhere in our bodies for as long as tissue accumulates in that spot. But it is believed that radiations, x-rays, okay, um, repeated x-rays which are not necessary are high risk uh, things that one should avoid. He reveals that radiation for medical diagnosis is not anything to worry about. If you are to have a brain scan after say a head injury that is okay. Are we together? If you have a cough and you have to have a chest x-ray that is perfect. But if you have an x-ray today, then tomorrow, and when it's not indicated for that, that's not really uh, recommended. Frazia Dragua was lucky to have a non-cancerous tumor removed. Dr. Mhumza says there are two types of brain tumors. The cancerous ones, or what we call malignant tumors and benign tumors. The second type are the cancerous tumors. Uh, these ones, unfortunately, um, there is no permanent cure for them. What we do is prolong life. According to Dr. Mhumza, three out of 1,000 people live with brain tumors in the country, and these are not able to tell they have the ailment. Dr. Mhumza says that is why it is important to know how tumors manifest in our bodies. Some of the commonest symptoms include headaches, seizures, and vomiting. Usually this vomiting is in full force. We call it projectile vomiting you find someone starting to behave funny, someone getting confused, someone forget, getting very forgetful. And everyone is at risk of developing tumors. There are tumors that are common in children. There are tumors that you can be born with. There are tumors that are common with adults. Tumors can cause permanent blindness, paralysis, and even loss of some senses. Where we have speech centers, the speech will be affected. Um, there is what we call, there is uh, some area that controls the strength in the upper and the lower limb. You might have a weakness on one side. What people commonly refer to as stroke. 30 people were booked for the free surgery camp at Mulago, but some of these will be operated upon in February 2018. Dr. Mhumza says this is because of the shortage of human resource. And one of the biggest challenge we have is um, the burden we have with head injury patients, especially border border. Treatment involves a combination of surgery radio and chemotherapy. Benign tumors are treatable if you can totally remove the tumor. But if, for instance, where they are located, they are, it's impossible to totally remove it, then that one also causes a bit of a challenge. The next kind of treatment after, if they are proven to be malignant, is what we call radiotherapy. From radiotherapy, then some of these treatments are also treated with what we call chemotherapy. But there are recommendations for one to be operated. You might find that they are very elderly patients. When you consider the age as with these associated com comorbidities, like 
excuse me, like heart problems, chest problems, and so on and so forth, you might really find it very hard for such a patient to undergo or under, uh, to, to really undergo, say, an eight-hour surgery. Mlago Hospital treats about three patients per week but receives over 50 people every week requiring head surgeries. Most of these are from the prevalent border border accidents. Walter Mwesije, NTV.